going on joe fan sentai's collector here with the oldie a kiko joe joe classified from snake eyes origin movie picked this up from pretty sure ollie's i don't have the price but it'll been five bucks at ollie's figure 18 upc if you need it I picked it up because it was cheap. I've been avoiding these movie figures like The Plague. Here's your insert and that random piece of paper in there. Here's the figure in the plastic. Go ahead and crack her out. Alright, so first glance we can definitely tell they reused this mold quite a bit. To make Blue Ninja and Viper to the T, just repainted. So good old Hasbro for the most part. Now let's take a look at her accessories. So she's got these two. I know they have a specific name, but they look like swords, but they're called something else. I have to see if I can figure out the Japanese name for these. And then she's got this bow staff, but again, it's got like sword ends, so it's got a unique name. So I'll have to look that up later, see if I can figure it out during editing. But not bad, it's all the weapons, but the problem is she has nowhere to like store them. So being light on the accessories, but at least we got something more than we get from McFarlane. Um, again, Akiko, this is. She never had a figure in the three and three quarter lines at all from anything from 82 to 2018. It's a brand new figure on the G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Origins movie. I'll just add her to my ninja show. So it'd be a cool little add in there on the good guys. I think these came from they like Baroness or even different, but they like these came from Baroness. At least the general mold. But anyway, this was obviously the starter mold for the rest of the female ninja type figures, at least Blue Ninja and Viper. Let's look at the articulation here. So she, for whatever reason, they put her in heels even though she's basically a ninja martial artist they put her in heels odd got some serious articulation in the ankle there got foot articulation got lower leg movement right there she's got double jointed knees she's got upper leg movement yeah leg movement splits and all that then Oh, so we do got some like upper torso movement here. And she's got swappable hands. I'm not seeing. Assuming there's wrist articulation, but I'm not really seeing it. Maybe there's not. Let's see. Yeah, so she's got wrist articulation movement there. And then she's got single jointed elbows. It's because her arms are so dainty. Head movement left, right, up, down. Head movement, full rotation with the arms. And then 90 degree there. She got this kind of in the way. This was, and it looks like there's like a slight. Um. Yeah, kind of slight little butterfly movement in there too. So, you know, just real generic figure, I guess you would say. Um, head sculpt is unique from, from the movie. So, you know, good little fill in. I'm trying to see what parts you could reuse. But, yeah, nothing too exciting. Just good little fill in here like I said definitely 
the uh, reuse for Blue Ninja and, and the Viper. And let's see how she looks compared to some other female figures. We look at Marvel Legends, Madame Hydra, so smaller than her. And if we look at Zarena, yeah, so you know, she was a very early release. So it's like, you know, they just, thankfully Hasbro continues to improve. Unlike McFarlane, they just redo the same old, same old. You think they would listen to collectors and whatnot and do something better with uh, multiverse instead of just wash, rinse, and repeat. So, but yeah, there we go. Kiko, I always figured, like I said, I wouldn't have paid. I think at the time these were probably 19 so I definitely wasn't going to pay that. Five bucks, I figured. Why not? And you could always um, fodder out as well if need be, if you need some female components or what have you. But there we go. Akiko, Snake Eyes Origins. Like, comment, subscribe. JJ out.